Hey everyone. So today's on the talk show, we have Mr. Deepak Goyal with us and what to say more about him. It's the best that he described how he started his entrepreneurial journey. So Deepak, on to you. Yeah, thank you, Sakshi. Uh, thanks so, uh, you know, for welcoming. See, when I was doing MBA, so I was attending some entrepreneurship events. Okay, I was lucky enough to become a part of ESL at my college during my MBA. So I was attending, you know, some startups events. I was also a part of uh, organization team. So I had some sort of understanding of entrepreneurship, starting a venture. Honestly speaking, before MBA, I had no idea about what is entrepreneurship, how to start a venture. But these kind of events really helped me a lot. So after the MBA, I joined a company. Okay, I joined IMRB International Work on there in research. But gradually, uh, you know, there was something in my mind that I would like to start something on. Why this venture? Why at tech company? Because when I was doing preparation for my, uh, you know, medical entrance, uh, which is today NEET, at that time we call it PMT, Medical Test Entrance. So I had an issue that I was looking for, you know, uh, good teachers and I was also looking for if I join this institute whether I would get that teacher or not so that was a problem I was facing so at that time I had no idea about the online education because at that time there was nothing as such over there we were simply joining an institute like Akash, Fedji and Oasis and we were just going the classes but when I was in a job because it was now 2013 when I understood that a lot of companies in e-learning space where we can join, you know, where we can actually take the uh, help from the trainers across the world, okay? Just sitting at your home and you can take the help from the, uh, you know, teachers over there. So I had an idea about it. So I started an online test portal, which was called testformula.com. So testformula.com was basically an online test portal where the students could come, they could take mock papers, they can see their reports, uh, you know, among all the students where they stand at. And in this way, they are also getting the guidance from the teachers over there. The solutions made by the teachers, the best in the industry, in the in the particular segment. Okay, if I am talking about biology, so biology. So in this way, this idea came up to start an ed tech venture, and uh, we took it to 2015. We started in 2013. We took it to 2015. But the way we had thought, I mean, me and my co-founders, the way we had thought, it didn't work out. But we were having a blog on test formula, which was getting traffic. So we started a blog over there and to put a different name, to book a different uh, you know, brand over there, we put a brand Adu for sure. And in this way, the Adu for sure.com was born. So initially it was just a blog. Later on, we started creating a trainer school and providing the training services and certification courses. So this was uh, the way we started, you know, an ad tech company. Wow. So Adu for sure started in the year? Basically, the company was founded in 2013, but the idea got pivoted because the online test was not working. So what we did, we rebranded the name to Edu for sure, which was actually taken in 2015. And then, you know, we started working on the training services. Before that, it was an online test portal only, as I said. Okay. So we basically pivoted the model. Okay. We moved, we were in the education only, but we just changed from the online test to the online training. Online training, yeah. The format yes. got changed. I mean, the way, uh, like, yes, 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 yes. So, yes. Uh, like, when, whenever we are starting up, like, you know, as you saw your first challenge that uh, test formula was not working so much as it should, definitely. Mm -hmm. Then, like, you you started Edu for sure. And then, Edu for sure must have also seen some challenges in the years down the lane. So, mm -hmm. like, what was like that particular challenge that, you know, that shook you, but you still continued on the journey? So see, whatever the venture is, the, the basic challenge is always the same. That is a team build. Okay. In the test formula, we also got certain, you know, paid customers. Okay. We were actually a platform where we were partnering with the coaching institutes and we were providing the online test platform to their students. Okay. So we were charging the coaching institutes and sometimes we were charging the direct students as well. But the challenge was same. Uh, that was a team building. Okay. Like, like my co-founders at that time left because, you know, we were having some financial constraint, the way we had thought it was not working. So in a very amicable manner, we spent and I started the Edu for sure. So the one challenge is always same when, when I was there at Edu for sure all along. Again, 
there was a challenge of team building so team building is i think a common in a basic challenge for any startup or any company when you start because the people ask a lot of questions that uh, where is your office who are the people working what salary you would pay so for a uh, you know for an entrepreneur the team building is really a difficult challenge especially in a today's environment where a lot of startup company which are well funded and can pay three times four times higher second they can have a good office so honestly speaking these are the challenges everybody face like team building okay so right now we are seven people as a full time and we have a trainer school of 1200 people because we are a trainer segregator company so the second challenge comes when we started putting the trainer school in our portal so when we have a trainer school so these trainers are either freelancers or they are working in mnc so they impanel with us okay and they work on a project basis so now the trainers loyalty is a second challenge the first challenge is team building the second is trainers loyalty because when you are pitching a corporate you provide a trainer most of the times most of the times the trainers exchange the cards exchange the contacts with the hr and lnd team of a corporate and sometimes they directly you know connect with them so in this way uh, you know you connect the trainer with the corporate you put certain part of the revenue you are generating because you are paying the trainers from the revenue you are generating from the corporate line but the trainers understand that you can uh, i mean every trainer understand that you know we are having more money and we are paying them some share of that money because that was our business but in this way there is a huge challenge that how would you manage the trainers loyalty why a trainer would not directly you know uh, connect with the corporate so that is another challenge which we are still facing although we have certain mous with the corporate and uh, 70% of the corporate understand it but still there are challenges which you know we are still facing the third is uh, because we were in a training program so okay, it is a very saturated market a lot of people are there so although we put the trainers who are having highly you, you know who are highly experienced but still there was a challenge that whether we can create job oriented training programs or not because what the people want jobs they want jobs if you are not providing a training which is very much job oriented which can help you know a learner to learn the skill and implement in a job then it is of no use to the learner so the third challenge to create a but that was easy because that was something you know we did brainstorming we did lot of research and accordingly you know we started the project but the two challenges the team building which is common across all the companies in fact the big company also face the same challenges obviously less than us uh, the bootstrap company face more challenges uh, second is a uh, in our specific business the trainers loyalty how would we keep the trainers with us and they would not directly connect with the corporate so these are the challenges we face i can totally understand because this is something like that we uh, under my brand mind dynamics even we were offering corporate trainings back in 2019 uh that's what that's when like we just started and uh, that that time even we faced similar kind of challenges you know that uh, when when we are giving like when we are showing our commitment and when we are showing our uh, like you know dedication towards helping trainers but similarly like a similar response was not i would not say everyone is like that but it does happen you have a mixture of people in the market you have a mixture like like it's in the family you know like you have a mixture yes. of people with different kinds of natures so you cannot control them it's something beyond your control but definitely then adding value and doing stuff is something that still remains with us and that keeps us integrated with the brands that we still work with today even after 2 years so uh, definitely like uh, i feel that for edif sure also right now you have entered into the training space and even mind dynamics we are also into training space and we all know that in in the past one one and a half year or i would say approximately two years since like the whole pandemic has a uh, pandemic situation has arisen around the world uh, mm-hmm. we have seen a huge competitive market being generated for training yes. and coaching industry true true very true yeah uh, like you know some of them they are uh, i would not say again like there is a mix of people some of them they are really very authentic there are people there are trainers mentors and coaches from the industry who have really done very good job by connecting to people through social media but then somewhere social media is also uh, indirectly leading to a uh, you know a, a, a wrong side of training and coaching industry so uh, what what are the challenges that you feel again like you know uh, again coming up in a competitive market can be for edush for sure see the market is really competitive if i give you an examples then uh, 
simply learn is there analytics vidya is there because see uh, first understand the edu for sure business we have two main business one is a corporate training the second we have the online certification program which anybody can take so so we have a portal where the people go you know they they see the courses the self paced courses the recorded courses and they take it on their own okay and then they start studying if they if they need a doubt session they can book a trainer the second uh, the first one which we started as a corporate training only which where we were pitching the colleges as well and we were doing the corporate training now if i consider these big companies like simply learn and uh, analytics vidya is also uh, getting uh, you know lot of funds they uh, the company has really uh, done a good job and they have raised the funds and they are also in a similar kind of business where they are doing a corporate training as well as they are uh, they are also targeting the direct customers as well who directly uh, take their courses now if i see the market is competitive but there is always you know uh, you can say uh, a space for everybody because that is called entrepreneurship where you see the gap and you can fill the gap and if uh, if i say the market is huge then everybody you know if doing a good job and uh, the the good work then definitely they they get the revenue as well for example i would not say we should focus only on revenue okay being a being a uh, startup we should first focus the problem if you are solving a problem the money will definitely follow for example in this case uh, uh, in ad tech company where we are providing the training uh, certification program uh, the people know a lot of uh, companies uh, like udemy is one which provides the courses starting from 300 rupee to 10000 so so when a customer comes to us they say your company uh, Uh, it's not very much known to us okay although we heard a bit about it but udemy uh, is a marketplace and they are giving me the same course at 300 rupees so this is again a very competitive thing forget about simply learn analytics with the other companies you know uh, uh, which charge higher than us but the company which are providing so again the competition so how would you you know you know uh, uh, tackle this things so we actually uh, you know focus on the content part so if your content is something which is job oriented if you are providing the customized content as well for example if uh, uh, we are uh, talking about a let us say an example of analytics course and somebody is coming from a hr background if we are giving that particular person the hr data rather than the marketing data so the person would be more happy to work on our data sets so that is what we regularly do we focus on a customized content and definitely we update the content as well so in this way somewhere you you know uh, compete with this market because you know the big companies okay i'm not against any big company okay they are also uh, doing great but the big company take more time to update the content to to understand what exactly you know uh, customized requirements are because they have certain standards to follow and uh, some sort of you know procedures are longer for them but the company like us if we really want to stay in a market we have to first focus only on a customer point of view okay let me explain this way suppose i am having a investor money okay suppose i am having a huge investor money so i definitely uh, have to reach certain milestone in terms of profit okay in terms of revenue now the problem comes here if i see certain segment of my learners okay my audience my customers need this particular thing but due to my uh, you know commitment towards revenue i cannot focus on this so there is a gap happen okay this is i know the problem i am running a big company i know the problem but i cannot fulfill this because i have that prior commitment of achieving the revenue where the companies like us okay uh, which are which are uh, you know uh, having Uh, more you can say strong or more control of, of, on the business they actually uh, uh, focus on a customer point of and being being uh, you know a bootstrap company we also have to take care of the learners otherwise nobody would appreciate us and there we win the race if you see the reviews of edu for sure if you speak to the customers of the uh, customers of edu for sure you would find a lot of customers are repetitive customer like person took excel core they took another course then another course in this way they understand that we value uh, you know their learning uh, we try to put significant value uh, you know and that's why they come to us and this is a only way uh, you know to beat a competitive market otherwise you can't because there would be people who would be selling at low uh, charges okay at low cost like udemy and there would be higher but 
you have to put up you know a gap or you have to fill a gap which is not fulfilled by both of them and there you win the situation wow i think that's that's a great insight like for all the viewers who are watching this video today so basically you you have two or two main points that i could figure out like from the whole long conversation number one was like you know finding a solution to the problem like if your your business should be solution oriented rather than you know wor worrying about what the problem is and making it big or highlighting the problem you should highlight towards the solution towards it and create it and offer it to your customers and clients and the second one that i really loved about like what uh, what we talked about right now is like whenever big companies you know they are coming up with certain concept definitely for them to bring a small change it will be a long chain of processes that they need to follow and yeah. that's where somewhere they stop you know they yeah, say exactly. that let the gap be if it is a little gap till the uh, mm -hmm. time it widens you know they wait for the market to widen if they see a wide gap only then they will bring out that change so definitely mm -hmm. for small companies that's that's the chance where even if you see a small gap start filling it because you never know when that gap turns out to be a big gap in the market So that time is a, will be a time where your company gets an advantage. You know, uh, my startup uh, in two thousand fifteen uh, was selected by Google Startup Bootcamp. Okay, there were sixty seven selected, uh, and India was selected, and we were one of them. Now I met an investor over there, and he gave me one insight. Okay, which was very inspiring as well. Uh, okay, I would like to. I do not want to name uh, the guy, although it is very positive. Uh, he said to me. that the people uh, you know uh, who are working in a big company okay the big company have a legacy that cannot change so fast okay the startups can change fast according to the market dynamics according to the customers according to the vision they have because a big company have a legacy they, they take time although they may have a big r&d team but they have a big processes as well and from there only uh, i got a motivation that even the big companies come in this segment we can you know we can make a significant space over here because we are trying to put significant value to the customers in our hearts and mind so for example if today we are having 30 plus courses which is not a big number okay the company if you see in our e learning space 2000 plus courses 500 plus courses 1000 plus courses we are having only 30 plus courses right so 30 plus courses in so many years because we regularly focus on updating the content a particular uh, you know uh, domain uh, you know changes so uh, fast today if we do not change the content if we do not change the content according to that the customers will not love the customers will find it is again a same company which is providing the same content for the last three years and that is why we are having less courses as compared to other e learning but the content is very very much job oriented very much relevant and that is you know our competitive edge we can uh, find so many reviews on google about it for sure where the people had said the same thing if you want to uh, you know get some mentoring without any cost because when somebody buys a product a big company may have a uh, you know automated answer so i repeat i'm not against any big company what i'm trying to say uh, some companies you know have an automated answer okay this is a download option this is a price this we can give a offer code to, to purchase but here you can actually speak to the trainer for 10 minutes 15 minutes clear your doubts and then you can purchase a course that is again a value addition you know although we are not charging it for it because the people but before buying uh, the product you can actually speak to the trainer also about whether this course fits for you or not i mean when i say you can speak to the trainer means you can converse with the trainer over the call i mean it is not over the chat it is not a standard answers so that is very specific so it takes time okay it takes time to solve query in this way uh, it is an extra burden uh, to the company as well but this is a way you can have a competitive edge because when you are working in a tech company the people are taking your courses to get benefit out of it and to get a benefit whether this course is beneficial for them okay this is a pre requirement if they do not know this because a lot of company i give you one example to make it more understand uh like for example some people are confused whether uh, power bi is a, a tool by microsoft analytics visualization tool so whether uh, you should have a coding knowledge to work on power bi or not so coding is not required when you are learning analytics and visualization 
but a lot of people do are not aware about it okay so when they speak to us they 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 whether they take course or not but they thank us that now i am at least clear about this tool so this is again a value addition you know uh, to the customers uh, learning curve as well they are not aware about it so many companies do the webinar but how many attend so to get to this segment you have to speak one to one it takes time but this is the way to success in this market okay yeah. uh reviews coming down for edu for sure it says speaks about the brand and the brand value that it has created in the market and uh, mm-hmm. we have also seen that you know uh, in the past again one two years technology has overtaken businesses very fast uh, like mm-hmm. the uh, the technological advantage that we were expecting to come down in 2025 had to happen in 2020 and 2021 so uh, how how like how far you were uh, able to change those te- technological perspectives in edu for sure like since the past few years see in our business technology has only helped us has only helped us because our business is basically to connect the trainers to provide the certification program when you are sitting at your home okay providing you the best course available in the market or best trainer or taking your doubt sessions so technology has only helped us you know in taking our services to the learners so so technology is not a challenge for us technology has only helped us but has it changed like the demand of the customers no no customers actually taking the courses because of if you, if you particularly you use the word pandemic right so if you talk about the post pandemic situation or the pandemic situation the people are losing the job in the market okay they want to skill themselves and they are also at home so they want to utilize the time okay suppose there is no pandemic there is no uh, lockdown or something in the i'm talking about the last year okay where we uh, spend more of time at our home okay uh, so this was a best time for ad tech company okay especially the training company or the online certification training company okay the people actually started more you know learning at home like they wanted to skill themselves they had no time to go out they 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 had a phobia of you know uh, losing the job and they wanted to skill themselves so all these environmental factors also helped us and as far as technology is concerned technology helped us to reach them through these tools like we are using zoom today to connect with each other similarly you know in a pandemic situation we had a remote uh, training as well so in this way it only helped us wow so edu for sure has a e learning platform that's what you said like you know where yes, yes. you can take courses at their own pace so what led to the start of this uh, like especially like i could say a sideline of your business uh, because you already had a good uh, com- like revenue coming up from the training industry like uh, i mean from the corporate side then why mm-hmm. why this uh, e learning uh, side is something that you chose to add on to your services see as i told you uh, when you ask me the challenge in the in this business the trainers loyalty is uh, you know challenge right yes. second uh, in a b2b segment when you are training uh, when you are doing a corporate training okay okay it is not very much scalable to be very honest when you are providing the courses which anybody can buy that is a huge that is huge i mean whether it is a school student or college student working professionals retire anybody can you know uh, go to their courses and that's why we created an e learning platform where we launch various courses from data science to digital marketing excel ms office so in this way we basically you know expanded our business in this way we are catching more people okay we are not only uh, limited to corporate okay where we had a where the corporate had a regular budget of a year and accordingly we got the clients okay and there are too much coordination as well so that portion dramatically reduce portion of revenue i'm saying and this sell pays the recorded session definitely increased because it's a huge market if if i am your customer okay and i'm taking a course from you directly from you and if i like the course and it helped me in the job definitely i will tell 
uh, my uh, network about this course. But if I am taking your course through my corporate, that is a part of corporate training program, that I may not recall the brand as well. I only know the trainer. Are yeah. getting my point? Yeah. So when you are having an e-learning platform where you are having your own courses and directly reaching to the customer, your brand value also gets increased. Because through a corporate training, first of all, that, that business segment is less in terms of you know profit, in terms of getting market. But B2C segment is very huge where the people directly take your courses. So both the ways it is beneficial. The first, there is no issue of trainer's loyalty when you are selling your own courses. The brand gets recalled by the customer. Second, the third, it's a huge market. Okay, if you take the course, you can take a second course, you can take a third course, you can refer other people as well. And there's a huge market as well as compared to only corporate training. So corporate training and B2C. Wow. Both are running in parallel, but definitely corporate training was started uh, before we launch uh, certain courses in a self-paced mode. Wow. So what, what I can foresee is like, you know, in order to uh, gain scalability, businesses can definitely try to shift their market segments or their client segments. Like, you know, that can help them to uh, pitch to a market which is more scalable rather than their current businesses if the current business segment is not much scalable. So that, that's a great yeah. thought, I think, that that will definitely lead Edu for sure in the long run in the years. To One thing I would like to add, and there is no category killing. I mean, the B2C segment is not killing our B2B business. B2B is separate where we are pitching the corporate, right? Where our trainers are uh, taking the training. In a self paced mode, we are t- targeting a segment uh, which cannot uh, get a training through corporate or which, which are not interested in that. They are interested in some other courses. I mean, sometimes we launch something which is a category killing. I mean, it is taking your own business, right? But, but these are the two different verticals, but giving the same kind of uh, business to us. They are not killing each other. That's great. So uh, what, what are your plans for the next, uh, like, you know, years to come? Like, how do you want to move ahead with the current setup that you have? Uh, you mean to say in future, how do you, how do you how want to go ahead? Yeah, uh, like, how do you see yes. yourself growing in future? See, see, one thing, Sakshi, I would like to uh, uh, say that being a bootstrap venture, we aim to stay profitable. Because then only we can run the show. Okay, so... Being profitable is very important for a bootstrap venture. Otherwise, uh, it gets vanished. So either you raise fund, get some users, raise another uh, round of funding. But if you are a bootstrap venture, your aim should be, uh, you know, uh, staying profitable. At Adu for sure, you do not find any course for free because we do not want our free users at all. We, although that is also good strategy that you give one course for free. But till now, we have never uh, put any course for free. Okay, we only have a paid customer. So our aim will remain uh, to be profitable. Okay, if the time goes. And uh, we have also tried some experiments and understand the market very closely. So now we uh, just want to speed up on this. I mean, initially like 2015, 16, we did some experiments. 17, 18, we started launching. The first course which we launched was Excel. Many people told me in my network, uh, my close friends, uh, my well-wishers, that who will buy Excel course? Everybody knows Excel. Okay. But that is the most selling course of uh, Adu for sure, the Excel. Because everybody needs Excel. And to be very honest, nobody knows Excel as well. I mean, very few people know Excel. And those who know Excel, either they are trainers or they are really Excel grew in your comp- in their company. The people call them Excel grew because Excel is very difficult. And Excel is very important in all jobs. So when we launch first course, Okay, without uh, uh, getting a good, you know, suggestion about that course, we launched it and we found the market was there. The people were buying Excel courses and gradually we started launching other courses. Now today, as on today, we have uh, 30 plus courses, but down the line, we want more courses in the same manner. Like we will research on the courses, like for example, cybersecurity, we do not have, we are planning to have cybersecurity. Okay, so... In this way, we will start building on it. So down the line, we also want to have more courses so that, you know, we can uh, cater more markets. In fact, our customers who are already our customer, they can also take our other courses. As I told you that we have repetitive uh, customers as well. 
so we want to create more courses for our learners and to get more new learners and we will always focus on a relevant content uh, which is significant as for the industry need and learners uh, value because that is what we learned in the last 5 years or so and the same thing we just want to speed up now because now we are not supposed to do many experiment we have a, a very clear path now we just have to speed up and definitely uh, if i talk about the investors then they can surely help us in growth uh when we show them uh, the past success and the way ahead so i'm not saying uh that investment taking investment is bad but we just want to add significant value to our learners and whoever whoever uh from the investment point understand this fundamental we would like to go ahead wow. so down the line more courses and uh, definitely maybe some more collaborations and maybe some fundraising as well Oh, that's amazing to know your uh, down the line goals, and we really wish me and my team. We wish you and your team like success for the years to come. Thank you for uh, delivering such an insightful talk today and talking to the viewers about like how Eru for sure came up and like you know from a business point of terms. Definitely, we talked about how uh, we can be different from our competitors, how we can scale up. so uh, a lot a lot of key points from today's conversation and i really thank you for being here today thank you so much i also want to thank you okay to invite me and uh, discuss uh, uh, these two things okay thank you sakshi thank you so much thank you if you want to run a business successfully in today's world you need to enter inside the digital age you can't be waiting for physical things to come in you can't be waiting just on physical resources to manage your business somewhere you need that facilitation handle called technology which not only helps you to run your business fast but it also helps you to create uniqueness in your business how this is something that is exactly there inside my book which helps you to give a unique dimension to your business it helps you to gather expertise in your own business it helps you with the business secrets of the successful entrepreneurs from india and not only that it also helps you to design the systems as to how you can do it all by yourself so this is a self help book specially designed for solo entrepreneurs and small business owners so whether you have a office from home or whether you have a small cubicle on rent it really doesn't matter as far as you can build your own uniqueness in the business and give it a definite boost in the years to come how to grab your copy is really very simple you just need to click on the link down below in the description box and your copy will be there see you soon